Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do uh, the singles for the uh, fire signs. So this is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We're just going to see what it comes up. This is for the next seven days, so seven days ahead from the time that you watch it. So this is for the seven days from the time that you watch it. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, sun sign, star sign. So if this is your main sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this reading is for you. It's for singles. This is if you are completely single, and I mean single. You're single. You're single. You're not attached. This reading is for you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, what can they expect in regards to love for the next seven days? I'm going to get one of these, then we're going to use that deck right there. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ooh. Woman holding coin. Came flying out, right? So you could be dealing, you could, first of all, if you are a male, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you could be dealing with the Queen of Pentacles. This is the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be who you're focused on or coming into your life. This, Or if you are the woman, this could be you, that you are very valuable. You are very valuable. You, um, whoever this woman is, whether it's you or the person that you are is coming into your life, this person has a lot of value. This person is stable, secure, solid, um, grounded. Um, and she has a golden opportunity in her hand. So, you know, she has a, she's very, she has an offer and it's, it's a stable, solid offer. So it's something that you can take to the bank, whether this is who you're focused on or who's coming in, or this is you, this is a very, uh, abundant individual who is worthy, very worthy. So... Now, this card flipped over as well. It was in the middle. I just moved it to the top. The garden and the gate. You've been waiting. You've been waiting. You've been waiting for this arrival. It, and, you know, it looks like somebody's coming. Somebody is coming. Um, be patient. You're not going to be alone forever. The, the inner work that you have done has been calling in your soulmate. Okay? So whatever you've been waiting for is coming. It's coming. And this woman, this woman has been waiting. So whether you're the man or or the woman, somebody's really been waiting for a long time. But whatever's coming is solid, stable, and secure because that is something that you can bank on. Okay? It is something you can bank on. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Singles. Yes. So you're going to get the justice that you deserve, huh? It's about time, right? It's about time. It's about time you get what you deserve. This is this is also a card of karma. You know, you reap what you sow. So, you know what I think so far right off, I think that you guys deserve something. You des you deserve this golden opportunity. You do. Whatever whatever is coming in is going to uh bring balance to your life and you're gonna have to make a decision you might have to because this is a, this is a decision a final decision do you want this opportunity you're gonna have to make a choice of some sort perhaps between two paths i don't know and when you have to make a choice between two paths it could be so many different things it could be a choice in between uh, uh independence and coming together with somebody could be between two people. Either way, the decision is going to have to be made. And it's probably a heavy decision. And right now, things may be a little unbalanced. And, you know, when, it, when you do make this decision, it's kind of balance things out for you, perhaps. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Because, uh, you know, think about justice and judgment. At the If you were to go to court, 
you know, it's the justice, and then you and then you make that judgment. They make the judgment call. Somebody's gonna have to make a judgment call. Absolutely, there's no doubt. Uh, perhaps some of you might be faced with a reconciliation. Somebody may want a reconciliation with you, and you may need to make the decision that I don't want that reconciliation. Judgment reverse. It's like no, nope. I'm moving forward. I'm going to wait for my golden opportunity. Um, there's lack of awareness with the judgment reversed. You may not be aware of something, so be careful. Be careful. You may not be aware of something. Seven of Wands reversed. You need to pick your battles. You also need to let your guard down. Let somebody in. Let somebody in. Forgiveness is needed. Maybe maybe you need to forgive somebody. Maybe you need, because judgment reverses, forgiveness is needed. And I see that you have your guard up. You know, you're, you're going to have some sort of opportunity to make a choice and perhaps to choose somebody new. But if you're holding on to... You know, fear, then you got to release it. Interesting. Oh, yeah, you got to release something. You need to make a conscious change to drop the past, to drop the baggage. Oh, that's what this is. It's up to you. It's up to you what you hold on to. So you want, you've been waiting for this perfect match, right? You're single, because you're watching this still, and I told you this was for singles. You're single, you've been waiting. You've been waiting for this golden opportunity. You've been waiting for this stability. You've been waiting for this um, person that is solid, right? You've been waiting for that. But you have to drop something first. I mean, the Ten of Wands, you first, something needs to be dropped, and it has to do with your... Guard, you know, your guard is up, your defense, you know, your defense mechanism, you got to drop that. Oh my goodness, four of cups. You know, you're discontent, sad, bored, you're probably getting impatient. Um, you need to realize that you do have another opportunity, you need to be open to love. You need to realize that there is love and you are going to, I think you're going to be offered an opportunity to make a decision in regards to love. But, you know, I think that you have, uh, you could miss it. You could miss the opportunity because of your own uh, discontent. Hmm. Interesting. I think that you are looking for more. Maybe maybe you're looking for I don't know. Let's get some more cards. Ooh, the Queen of Coins. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Is that is that who you're in? This is this is it. It's the same person. It's the same person. So if you are the male watching this, or the masculine in the relationship, you have a female that is probably an earth sign, I have to tell you. It could be definitely an earth sign. Or somebody that is very, very nurturing, um, financially stable, grounded, uh, motherly, uh, abundant. This person is, is coming into your life. Or this is the person that you are making a decision about. If you are the female, this is you. This is you. You're ready. You're, you're abundant and somebody sees it. Somebody is in the process of making a decision as to whether they want to, you know, make you an offer or whether you're really an opportunity, you know. Maybe this person is trying to, wondering if they have enough to offer you because you're so abundant. That could certainly be the case. Ooh, two of cups. 
You guys need to forgive a past relationship that hasn't been forgiven yet, hasn't been released. You need to get grounded. You need to make a final decision to release something emotionally, mentally, physically, whatever it is. This is a release and this is a partnership that didn't work out. And I can see that there's, there's some kind of discontent and you may be missing an opportunity. You want another opportunity, but you may be missing an opportunity because you're still holding on to the baggage. Yep, you're still holding on, still holding on. You need to... Uh, Allow yourself to receive. I think that somebody has something to offer you, but you're reluctant to accept anything. Interesting. Yep, it's time. It's time to start on a new journey. It's time to start over. It's time for a fresh start. It's time to take a risk. And that's that's a big deal here. That's a, This is what this reading is about. It's about taking a risk. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you got to open your heart and you got to take a risk. You got to allow somebody to love you. Um, so, you absolutely need to release a partnership mentally mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever. You need to forgive the past. It's, it's evident here. You will receive the justice that you deserve. You absolutely will. You will. You're going to get what you deserve, but you need to see it. You need to be open to it. I know you've been waiting for it, right? You have been waiting for it, but the fears, the fears of uh, letting your guard down and trusting somebody is are big here. They're big. They're big. So is there new love coming from the week for, for the week ahead? At poss possibly, yes, there is. It's like it's there. It's within reach. But will you take it? Will you take it? Will you take a risk? Will you? You have an opportunity to step on a new path. You do. I see that you do. But you're going to have to release a karma, a karmic. This is a card of karma, and this is a karma card of karma, and this is release. You've got to release the karmic past truly. Truly, truthfully, honestly, you honestly have to release it. You have to release the pain. You have to drop it. You have to make a conscious change to go after what you deserve to give your heart to somebody else. You're holding on to your, your defenses. That's what's going on here. You gotta let your guard down. You have to let your guard down. So, yeah, is there a new opportunity for love? Is there a new opportunity for love? There is. There is a new opportunity for love. This is somebody that you have called in. You're calling this person in, but you're you're hindering it because it's like you're. Maybe you don't know what you're worth. I don't know. I don't know. Ha! Ah, eight of Cups. Keep walking up those stairs. Don't look back. Stop looking back on what you've held on to. Oh my goodness. This is release. Don't look back. Get to the top. Keep going. You have to let go of your fight, the, 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 the desire to defend yourself. Seriously, this is going right here. You need to let go of the need to compete or the need to uh, protect yourself. I see protection mode here. I really, really do. I think that, you know, you're reluctant, very, very, very reluctant to let anybody into your life. And yeah, you are. You are. I think right now you may be isolating yourself and going through some sort of um, awakening, per se. You may not be really focused on love because you're doing some kind of healing. You're doing some kind of introspection right now. 
maybe you're closing some doors in your life and you're just, you know, you're working on your stability, you're working on your security, you're working on your bank account and maybe maybe this is if you're the the Aries Leo Sagittarius woman maybe you're working on your financial stability right now and you're not really focused on love you're waiting for love to come at the right time divine timing right so I think you are be somebody is going through some sort of this is making yourself consciously aware and this one is too it's like you're going through some sort of awakening right now so I think that you're really reluctant to let anybody in because you're working on yourself. I think you're giving to yourself. I think that you're gaining wisdom through solitude. So do I feel like new love is coming in? I think there's probably an opportunity for love. But you may not see it. Or you may not want it. Or you may not be ready for it because you're working on yourself. You're working on yourself. Because you you need to you need to find your own happiness. I think that you guys are working on building your your own rebuilding your own inner foundation. I think that you guys are in the process of getting ready for that soulmate. You're getting ready for that perfect match. I think that's what's happening here. I think you're being enlightened. And I think that you are about to go through a new door, but you're just not ready yet for some reason. And I think that you're in the process of finalizing, because this is finalizing a decision, a finalizing a period in your life. And I think that you're just about at the end. You got a few more steps to go. One, two, three, four, five. Five more steps to go. Interesting. So yeah, I feel like you're not quite ready for this uh, new beginning, okay? Because you're going through some sort of awakening, and you may you have you you do you're about to start a new journey to start at zero. But I don't think you've stepped over the finish line yet. You haven't completely got to where you need to be. So for the, the singles, I'm not going to tell you that new love is coming in this week. I think you're working on yourself. I think there is a prospect. I do think that there is a love prospect. But I think right now you're in the process of dropping some sort of baggage that has held you back from love. And this could be the relationship or it could be the lack of money or lack of financial stability or whatever. I think you're in a waiting period. And during this waiting period, you are, you're, you're awakening. You're awakening. And I think you're going to get exactly what you deserve for giving to yourself. Okay? For, for waking up. For dropping whatever it is that you're dropping. Um, I, see a, I, I see a fresh new start on the horizon. And you remember, the, the fool doesn't bring a lot with him. He doesn't bring. He, he carries a little tiny bag. And in that bag is past life experiences. That's it. That's it. So I feel like you guys are in the process of dropping some sort of... This is dropping baggage as well. Dropping some sort of huge load that you have held on to. And you're becoming like a new person. So I feel like... You may reject any offers of love because right now you're working on you. Um, you may not, you may just be too guarded and untrustful and just not, not ready. But this time of introspection is getting you ready. It's getting you ready for the ultimate commitment. You just have a few more steps to take. So Aries Leo Sagittarius, do I feel like new love is coming in this week? I feel like there's a prospect. I feel like there's a love interest. Do I feel like it's going to get anywhere solid this week? I think this is a week of uh, introspection and perhaps you you releasing some past baggage. So do I see you falling in love? No, I don't. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like this is a time of climbing that ladder, climbing that ladder to success. To get to where you need to be. To get to the top. So that's what I see. I wish you the best. Good luck. 
but be patient. Because while you're going through this period of solitude, you are calling in your soulmate. You have to be stable first. You've got to be secure. You've got to be where you need to be so that you are completely ready. Because when it does happen, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be extremely happy. It is. And that's what you want. You don't want to bring this baggage with you, right? You don't want to bring this burden and this tension and this conflict with you. No, 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 no. You don't want to be in fight mode. You want to be in peace mode. So keep doing what you're doing. Good luck.